Hello, Virgo. Random Mike here. We're going to play some tarot cards today. First and foremost, Virgo, I want to thank you for your time. I know how valuable it is, and I appreciate you spending this time with me in this now. Also, Virgo, I definitely want to thank you for all of your likes, all of your subscribes. You guys have been amazing to me. All of your comments. I love them all. The good, the bad, the ugly. You know, I feel if I got the right to say, Virgo, you got the right to say as well. So come on with them. I love them. I appreciate them. Also, Virgo, I want to thank all of you that have reached out to me since I've been on YouTube for personal readings. You guys have definitely kept me busy. I appreciate that very much from all of you. Um, this is what I do. I'm a tarot reader. I do this seven days a week. The reason why I do it seven days a week is because on the weekends, I like to go up to my local flea market and play cards with my peeps up there. Uh, that flea market is the St. Augustine Flea Market in beautiful sunny Florida. So uh, if you're ever in this area on vacation or if you live locally, hey, come down to the flea market, St. Augustine, and uh, let's play some cards together. I would love that. Uh, I do want to... This, this this reading is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And we all know that these are general reads. So there's no possible way that these readings can be for every Virgo on the planet. So those of us that know and love the tarot, we know. If it resonates with us, run with it. And if it don't, throw it out. Also, my cross watchers, you are absolutely welcome here. I think it's smart to go ahead and look at your loved ones, you know, and what they may be up to, uh, because, you know, they, they affect our lives. Uh, what I do want to say to my cross watchers is these may read out from your perspective, even though I say Virgo regularly. Okay, here we go. With all that being said, Virgo, sun, moon, and rising, this will be for March, the first of March through the middle of March, some, somewhere in there. I'm going to shuffle your cards here a little bit more, Virgo. Ooh, Princess of Cups showed up. That's nice. Super nice. Let's see if she shows back up again. Shuffle your cards here a little bit. I feel, I feel that right there. Let's tune in here, Virgo. Hey, Tearaway Love Team. Let's tell Virgo what they need to know most for their highest good. Thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help them to hear what they need to hear. Help me see what I need to see. Thank you again, love team. Here we go, Virgo. Caught in the deck. Virgo, first card out is Six of Pentacles. Uh, this is a card of reciprocity to me. Um, equal give and equal take. It's right in the middle of your spread right here. You know, it is also uh, the card of the great philanthropist of the tarot deck, you know. It is a money card. I recall last time uh, the spread with Virgo that uh, doors were opening up for you in the area of career. You know, many times when, uh, we're going through uh, love and relationship issues and they're not working out good for us. You know, we focus on our coin. Now, let's see where this goes right here. You know, this card can go either up or down. It's a nice opening for you. It is the philanthropist of the tarot deck, you know. It is about equal give and equal take at this particular point in time. Let's see where this goes for you, Virgo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here it comes. Here comes my great adventure showing up, huh? <laughs> Whoa. The great adventure of the tarot deck. It is the knight of wands, you know. It is the, uh, the, the fun card, the player, you know. The young adventurous one that comes in and gets what they want, and after they got what they want, they skedaddle on back out of the out of the out of the way. You know, absolutely uh, sets the tone for this card right here, Six of Pentacles. Uh, like I said, many of you may be focusing on your career because you're dealing with, you know, I'm going to say politely, the great adventure of the tarot deck right here. Um, this card talks to me in that case uh, that uh, many of you probably feel that uh, you're pouring more into this relationship than the other person is, Virgo. Let's see where this spread goes, you know, with our, our player straight up in the middle of your spread right here, Virgo. Here we go. Bottom of the deck, 
Mm-hmm. My great empath showed up right here. Uh, Queen of Cups. It is a face card. It can talk about Cancer, uh, Scorpio, Pisces. It could be the energy, Virgo, that you're taking on. You know, this is the great empath. I mean, many of you that watch my channels, you know, you're empathic people. And uh, the Queen of Cups right here is an amazing person. She's the nurturer of the Minor Arcana, uh, full of agape love, unconditional love. Uh, she's an amazing queen, um, pours her life out into those that she loves uh, very much. Um, the big cup that she has right there absolutely talks with me about spiritual gifts. That's why she's holding it up by her heart. You know, she follows her intuition. Um, she uh, uh, has psychic abilities. You know, she's a dreamer. You know, the dreams. Uh, the, the, the situation with the Queen of Cups, if I can be honest with you, you know, uh, this is a healer. She's absolutely a healer. She could probably just lay her hands right on baby's brows, and break fevers and all kinds of healing abilities with this wonderful uh, person right here. Um, you know, Virgo, um, the problem is that, you know, being the healer, many times us that, uh, you know, use law of attraction backwards. And because we are a healer, we attract the broken to us, you know. She can pour herself out so much into other people that she really forgets who she is, you know. Um, if this represents you, Virgo, you know, then this is absolutely some healthy selfishness, absolutely realizing, you know, that um, we don't want to attract this. If, if you're not interested in this kind of person coming in and playing, you know, possibly broken, wounded, whatever, you know, um, realize that uh, you need to set your perspectives in a, in a better direction. And that perspective, Virgo, would be for you, healthy selfishness for you, my wonderful empath that's right here on my board. In the, yeah, in the uh, recent past, uh, the Four of Cups showed up here. You know, this is a reevaluation card to me. Four, uh, the Cups always talk about love and emotion. So we got, um, you know, Virgo sitting under the tree right there looking at, you know, this relationship, you know, with the player right here that Virgo's been pouring a lot more into uh, than, than the other person, you know, um, being the great, you know, healer, empath that they are, um, reevaluating the whole situation at this particular point in time. You're looking at the past, present, projected future, and there is an amazing cup up here, you know, that's being offered in from the divine that Virgo's not looking at that either. There may be something special out there for you, Virgo, that you are not looking at at this particular point in time as well. You just may feel, I'm just done with this. You know, like I said, many of you may just go and make your coin. There may be some major breakthrough in the finances world for you as well, Virgo. I feel that strong for many of you. Um, so definitely a reevaluation, you know, about a player uh, that's been in your life, Virgo. Here we go. Let's see what's on top. King of Swords showed up. King of Swords uh, is another face card. Uh, this could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Could very well talk about you, Virgo, and the energy that uh, you're working with at this particular point in time. The reason I say that is because the King of Swords, well, he's very, very smart. He has strategy running through his head all the time. He's very, very logical. It could be head over heart um, decision that you're making at this particular point in time. That's why I feel that for many of you, it may represent the energy that you're walking in. But for many of you, I mean, it could represent uh, somebody else that's uh, in your life or could be coming into your life as well, um, uh, you know, with that golden cup that's up there at this particular point in time. Let's just go with it that um, it uh, represents you, Virgo, uh, using head over heart in this situation, you know, putting yourself first. Although we do have a couple here, 
And many of you read the tarot cards along with me. You read these for yourself as they come out with me. You know, I'm going to tell you, never let a tarot reader tell you what to do in your life. You're creating your own reality. So head over heart uh, decision about what to do uh, with a player that's possibly in your life that you are pouring more into than they are pouring back out and, you know, um, affecting my wonderful empath in a negative way. Could just be bored with this situation, just bored with it, just done with it, you know. Let's see where this goes from here, Virgo. Yeah, very much so. Six of Swords showed up, you know. This is absolutely moving away from a situation that is no longer fulfilling to you, you know. Has uh, has uh, three people in the boat, you know. I always look at the oarsmen as the divine because they love us. I mean, my goodness, whoever the divine to you is, Virgo, they absolutely love us. They don't want to see us be played. You know, they don't want to see us being taken advantage of. Uh, they don't want to see us hurt. They want to see us being that strong empath that we are, that healer that we are, you know. And they may help you with that head over heart situation. That's what I really feel is going on with Virgo at this particular point in time. At this time, I feel that they are moving away from something that's no longer emotionally fulfilling to them. Heading over to Paradise Island over there, you know. It's got the Six of Swords. Up there cutting the way, you know, swords always have to do with thought process, you know, Virgo thinking differently, you know, about how the situations should unfold for them for their highest good. Um, you know, it definitely shows two characters in the boat. One of them is looking down at the ground like, wow, could this really be happening? And I love the inner child who's looking up, who's looking up at the oarsmen over here like, yes, this really can, really can be moving out of dark night of the soul. That's what this card is about. Moving out from dark night of the soul into something new and exciting for you, Virgo. Here we go. How Virgo sees themselves. Look at this, man. Four of Wands. I mean, moving away from a situation that's no longer fulfilling to you, Virgo. Um, Four of Wands is that card of celebration, excitement, fulfillment. It is the, uh, you know, marriage card. Now, although the big M word scares the bajinkies out of people, a committed relationship. Absolutely see a Virgo has a committed relationship on their mind at this particular point in time. It is the uh, Four of Wands, the one, 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 one card, you know. Um, despise not the day of small beginnings, you know. It's got the big house with the sun shining on them right there. It is a soulmate card. You could very well have a soulmate coming in for you. Um, as you uh, move forward, this is a card of travel. I mean, it could talk about you traveling to go see somebody that's new and exciting. Um, this is a total different energy than this right here. This is an energy of reciprocity, equal give and take. It's nice. Uh, and like I say, we do have some face cards on the, on the board right here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio on the board right here. Definitely four of wands. This card always gets my attention, Virgo. Many of you may know who I'm already talking about at this particular point in time. Here we go. Exterior influence, a major arcana, major life force card is the first one that came up. It is the Virgo card. Yay. Virgo showed up in their own spread right here. It's an amazing card to me about going within. You know, when you're running around dealing with somebody uh, that's playing like this, you're pouring out everything that you got. They're just coming in and getting what they want and they're getting gone. You know, you're being the empathic uh, healer that you are. Reevaluating the whole situation with four of cups, head over heart decision. Because, you know, this person, you know, these people, they're fun. They're fun, man. They're exciting. And, you know, they can catch your heart. They absolutely can. This is a card of Virgo going down inside, doing that inner work that needs to be done. Healing the heart, healing the mind, and coming back out, coming back out, Virgo. 
with their star in the jar. You know, where does star come from? Came from inside of Virgo right there. And when I was shuffling uh, your deck up earlier, uh, the star card did pop out of the deck for you, Virgo. That's a card of great hope, great faith, and your dreams becoming reality, you know. Uh, the Terra Luminati has the hermit right here uh, with that shepherd staff. This is absolutely somebody that absolutely loves people. Absolutely loves people. This is a card to me of being absolutely directed and guided by the divine. By the divine. This is a card of me with astrological alignments lining up for you on your behalf at this particular point in time, Virgo. This is a nice card of going inside and doing the work that you needed to do. Good for you, Virgo. Let's see where this goes here. Let's see where the spread goes. I love it. Four of Wands on the board. So that is an amazing card of how Virgo sees themselves. Here we go. Oh, man. Look at this. Hope's position right here, Virgo. Ace of Cups has showed up for you. I'm telling you, man, I'm excited about this. I see you being led and guided. Led and guided. Led and guided. Yeah. To something that's amazing. Ace of Cups always talks with me about a direct connect with the divine, first and foremost. Ace of Cups, secondly, talks with me about love of self. Yeah. Loving yourself first. Ooh, nice, Virgo. Whatever you're working on, man, on the inside, Virgo, this is nice. This is also a card of love and all the possibilities thereof. This can also be a card of um, <laughs> unspoken love. Unspoken love. Yeah. There may be somebody out there, Virgo, uh, that you haven't told them um, how you feel about them. Hmm? This is nice. I mean, here, here's, that, here's that golden cup right up there. I mean, Virgo ain't been even looking at it. Here it comes, man. Yeah, Ace of Cups. I really like this for you, Virgo. Just letting something go that ain't working for you no more and thinking about something that could very well uh, be absolutely what you're looking for right here with Four of Wands, man. Ooh, yeah, nice, Virgo. Let's see here. <laughs> major Arcana, Major Life Force. The Magician showed up right here. The Magician showed up. An outcome position. This is my Virgo. This is my Virgo that's gone inside, done the inner work, you know, um, knows what they want, setting their intentions properly, you know, about what they want. What do they want? Ooh, yeah, Ace of Cups is what they want. Yes, absolutely. And guess what this is? This is the manifester of the tarot deck, Virgo. This is the second major arcana that showed up for you. Aries may mean something, may not mean something, and Virgo, of course, that means something. Uh, let's talk about the magician here for a minute. Uh, he has all of the elements that he needs to manifest in the 3D. This is somebody that manifests in the 3D. Yeah, <laughs> that's a nice thing to be manifesting in the 3D right here, this Four of Wands here, this uh, soulmate card right here, this uh, divine uh, committed relationship that's uh blossoming, you know, with potential for the, you know, the big house and the sun shining on it. This is a nice thing to be manifesting right here. Um, they got the swords, they got their intellect, their thought process, they're great with communication, got their ducats lined up. I'm telling you, man, something could be falling through with many of you Virgos in the area of career and finances. Uh, that card as well popped out when I was shuffling up the Romance Angel cards for you as well, Virgo. Uh, we do got the um, uh, the cups right here, the emotions, you know, not all wild, steady, you know, been thinking about this for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Good for you, man. You know, steady, steady as she goes. I love this for you. Um, got the one wand of passion, one wand of passion tucked up by the magician's heart right there. You know, the infinity symbol up about them, tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine, whoever that is to you, Virgo. So much so that all of these elements are lifted up off the table. <laughs> yeah, magic, huh? Got all this trash down here that they're leaving behind. 
leaving this kind of trash behind, going forward, absolutely going forward, coming out of that dark night of the soul, moving forward towards Paradise Island right here, Virgo. Very nice for you. Um, Terra Illuminati dubbed the magician as the alchemist. You know, this is the one that turns lead into gold. An amazing outcome card for you right here, Virgo. Let's, just, let's look at the bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> Seven of Cups showed up, Virgo. You may have more than one option. Like I said, we got two face cards on this board right here. Two face cards on this board right here. You may have some options coming up. I mean, Virgo's absolutely amazing if you ask me. Rooted, grounded, brilliant, smart. No, boy, they know how to make the money. They're magic, you know. Seven of Cups uh, talks, you know, about... Um, yeah, you know, I can talk about being a little confused about the situation, too, and that's why we play with Tarot, you know. Tarot can help us with all these wonderful pictures, help us uh, get a new perspective, set new intentions, you know, uh, uh, about all kinds of things, forewarned, forearmed. Um, a lot of things in these cups. There's a house in this cup. There's money in this cup. There's people. There's people. There's fortune. There's fame. There's trouble, you know. There's just about everything you could possibly imagine. This is a dreamer's card to me. And with this kind of situation, I would say um, this is more about being specific about what you do want, Virgo. Be specific about what you do want. It's right here. Ace of Cups. You know, it's right here. Four of Wands. Absolutely. Be specific. This guy's really specific about what he wants, you know. Go ahead and come out of that uh, land of indecision and move forward with what you do want. Virgo. Nice spread. Let's play with some of these Romance Angel cards. Uh, hey, Tarot. Hey, Romance Angels. Uh, let's do three cards for Virgo here. Thank you. In the area of love and romance. Thank you. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, there it is again, man. It came up again for you, Virgo. Finances and career. Like I said, Many of you maybe have a major breakthrough in this area. You know, congrats. Go, man. Get that coin. Get that coin. Love it for you right here. Uh, finances and career on the board. It's, I've been feeling that the whole way through, you know. Um, I see Virgo, you know, not just this or that, but whew, this and that. This and that coming up for you. Um, and this one just uh, called out to me. I was going to continue to shuffle, but it. They said right here, release your ex, you know, for many of you right here, you know, uh, this player, mm -mm, they don't seem to be the one who, wow, there is somebody out there for you. And many of you already know who that is. Maybe you haven't told them how you feel about them. Mm. Go ahead and manifest what you want right here. Let that stuff go uh, that ain't working for you no more, Virgo. Here we go. One more for Virgo, please. One more for Virgo, please. Oh, that one just wanted to come out. <laughs> yeah, make the effort. Make the effort. Like I said, many of you already already know who we're talking about right here. Ooh, man. Yeah, pick up the phone. You know, you've already gone inside. You know, done that inner work. You know, done that inner work. Hey, water sign here on the board. Air sign right here on the board. May mean something. May not mean something. Uh, now, the only uh, majors I got on the board are Aries and Virgo. May mean something, may not. Make the effort. You know, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided. You're guided to take. Nice cards for you, Virgo. Let's do one more major for you. This is a super nice spread. Looks like it's going to be a fun two weeks for you coming up here, Virgo. I'm happy for you. I'm excited for you in the area of love and romance. Looks good, man. Looks like uh, you're uh, going to go ahead and do what's best for you. Do what's best for you. Oh, man. Look at that, man. Wheel of Fortune showed up for you, Virgo. Love this card. It's probably the most old the ancient card. A tarot is ancient. Uh, this is probably the most ancient card in the tarot deck. To begin with, it is an omen of good luck. An omen of good luck turning around for you, Virgo. Um, you know, it is that card of that belief that um, somewhere in the universe, 
is that wheel of destiny with Virgo's name straight up in the middle of it. And that wheel is swinging in an upward position right now at this particular point in time. You know, it also talks about all those karmic cycles that many of you are letting go. Let, let it go. Let those karmic cycles go because this wheel of fortune is swinging in an upward position for you at this particular point in time. Once again, this is a card of destiny. You know, and destiny is a huge word, ain't it? You know, that always talks about the divine, making sure that we meet up who we signed agreements with in 5D before we come to play in the 3D. They make sure we meet up with that person, but then it's up to us what we're going to do at that particular point in time. That's destiny. Virgo, an amazing spread for you. I enjoyed it very much. Namaste. Love and light. I'll be talking to you soon, Virgo. Bye for now.